one. Hey, what's up, Igloo? Alright, we're watching Ace on the River here, guys. You are invisible. That's weird that you were the last one to pop up there. Let's get the blue side fog of war. We're gonna start coin. Ah, uh, you've got aftershock, so that's good. Alright. We're AFK, sir. We are AFK. Oh, putting a dip in. Can't play without it. Nice. Gotta get your focus on. matchup bard vein um you guys have a decent matchup here they're both really squishy vein went press the attack instead of uh what's the other one that we're running hail of blades hail of blades is better right now playing a tournament another server put on silly sun around different teams though rip it's cool that you guys still play together. All right. Try not to. I don't. I don't think he missed XP. Bard, yeah, Bard's way out of position. You're the right thing there. That's good. Back away. Trade for the duration of your aftershock. Make sure they're not like following up to. Uh... Like, unless you have kill potential, only trade the duration of your Aftershock. Otherwise, they can easily double back. So you did the right thing there. That was good. They got the level 2 first. Not Bane. Okay, now they do. You guys got to get these and a range creep before you get level 2. So you need to be very safe here. They're not, like, a huge spike level 2 bot lane like you are. And you've got Kha'Zix Zins up here. You're safe to look for something right now. All right, all right. So hook's down, you're just going to play safe for the duration uh, of the cooldown. Kha'Zix is above, he could come gank if you want to get something rolling here. But you've definitely got to play around your hook cooldown. Be careful playing against the wall against Bard, it's a pretty easy stun. Uh, and one thing I like to do early on is I like to sit in the bush to see if Bard wards or not. Because if you're trying to play to the bush, you use vision control. Um, If you're trying to use vision control in the bush, it only works if it's unwarded, right? So if you're in there early, then you can watch and see when he's up here if he actually wards it or not. Uh, getting his ward out, knowing where their wards are, is pretty important, pretty beneficial to your lane. Nice try. All right, so we're going back early for something. Well, I don't know why. So with the 500 golds, you're gonna get a call. Yep. Yeah, like the most you could have gone back for, you could have gone back for boots, which on Thresh isn't bad. I think you're just at XP range there. If Bard roams out, just try to ping that he's missing. He could have possibly roamed mid there. 
Like, he's most likely just looking for chimes, but he could possibly roam mid, and if if you don't ping it because they're not watching, it's, it's your fault, right? I don't know how much she came back to hard pushing. Then again, if she's pushing now, Vayne can't really leave. Careful the wall for Condemn. Try not to walk up and trade autos either. So if your hook's on cooldown, you don't want to walk up to trade autos. And right here, you should be sucking down a potion. So if you get stunned into like a combo from Vayne, Fard's running airy for some reason, not electrocute or anything stronger. Here comes a jungler. Okay, you can get a hook at the tower here if you do it. Very nice. Oh, Bard, you stayed? Very nice, okay. He still got heal. Okay. So that, that was really good. Um, you were dead there. I may have not stopped to throw the lantern here, but that getting stunned baited them to both die. Like, you were getting pretty low. The lantern throw. I, we can go back and look. You may have placed it in front of you. If you placed it in front of you, that was... Uh, oops. We got too far. No, so you didn't really block yourself with it. That was okay. Okay, so you played it well. Yeah, as long you, you got to be careful with the lantern because you can body block yourself with it. It does count as uh, as terrain, just a tiny little spot of terrain. So watch out for the position you're on. Otherwise, well played on that. Yeah. So like, if you drop the lantern here, like right here. It'll block them from taking this path. If you get it right in the center, they'll have to go around. So a lot of times people are running away. I'll I'll be here. I'll throw my lantern here and I'll hook here because it forces their auto pathing to the left. So it's kind of like using a Nivea wall to bait somebody into a Nivea queue. You just yeah. You can block them there. It's got to be perfect though. So that would be something to practice. in your jungle, you know they're still up there. They're putting a lot of pressure in here. Everybody's recalling. Let's just get back down here to help Sivir. Oh, shit. Wow, this guy. This fucking Zin, man. Sivir's strong right now. Alright, you know they're not in there, but Bard could easily tunnel him back in. Yeah, Zinn definitely showing that he wants your nuts down here, man. Alright, so right now just wait for cooldowns. I think the big one right now is just make sure you don't get caught with a lantern. Park you down, you can play aggro for a moment. Then again, you don't know who's here. They're playing back though, they're not playing in an aggro position. Super hard pushing. All right, now you've got the vision. Good use of the pink. Maybe a little further. They, they could probably auto that over the wall. Maybe a little bit further away. Eh. 
Like, just out of auto range, it doesn't matter. They doubt they're gonna go try to clear it over the wall. They probably can't reach it. Vayne's pretty short range. Something to be mindful of. That's like coming up to Baron and putting a pink here when you're trying to clear it. They can easily clear your pink over the wall and then, uh... And then just have wards in the pit. So optimal pink location is right here in front of Baron anytime you're doing that. That way, the radius of the pink has full circle in the pit. So we're doing B. She's got two kills and 78 CS. She's probably really close to Storm Razor right now. New NASA skin. Alright, what do we buy? Eye of the Ascension. Hmm. So for me on Thresh, I don't upgrade the support item very often. I only go to tier 2 on this. I'll go straight into Moby Boots. That way you have roam potential. And then I'll go for like Kindle Gem. So the HP that I get, the 200 HP, has extra CDR on it. That way I'm not just building uh, HP on an item, but I've already got the primary stats that I want. Nice. Nice hook. Alright, so good job. Good job. You guys showed up there at the right time. Uh, Infernal Dragon is the call right here now, though. You got the support. You got the mid laner. This is prime time for you guys to four-man dragon, and you're already down here. So I usually ward over here. Running this point's decent, that way you can watch if they do come down to try to contest. Over the wall lets you see them further back in their rotations. Uh, but I would definitely have wards out here. You've got two on the board, which that's... No, it's a trinket. You've got this one, which is okay. This isn't bad. I do prefer up here, though, just to know. Gives you a little more time to react, to get out of the area if they, like, TP you down and stuff. You just know if there's too many for you. Uh, oh my goodness! What?! What did I just watch? Okay, that was- that was lag! Why did it show Kha'Zix in the middle of the lane?! That was different this time! He was in the bush! It, the replay lagged, guys! That was some bullshit! I, yeah, I was wondering why Vayne was even there seeing Kha'Zix in lane. They weren't in lane. It was just lag. The race versus the 360 armor tower. Holy smokes. We're gonna get it. Hit it, guys! Okay. Alright, so you guys reset, you will go top, hopefully. Uh, you will get wards out, either control here, ward here. Oh, they're on Herald, rip. Yeah, so leaving bot, reset immediately. You guys want to keep your momentum up, you want to continue getting towers. So you lost the Herald, so now it doesn't matter if you play top or mid. Uh, what's going to define where you go here is... Basically, Dragon Timer. If Dragon Timer is under two minutes, you guys probably want to play to mid lane. Have top laner stay top, have your mid laner go bottom. Uh, that way, you guys can actually push for the tower. They're popping Herald top though, so you need to run up there quickly. Also, this chain armor, don't worry about getting the armor first. Well, I guess you've got, you've got HP on this, so armor's okay with it. Uh, I, I much prefer the Kindle Gem for the HP and CDR though. I don't know if I can chase here. Yeah, you don't, you don't have enough players with you. Just kill this thing because it will continue taking towers if you guys run past it. Uh, and then you've got... Timer's not up yet. 
We'll see the timer up here when it's within two minutes. So you can play up here for just a little bit. Make sure you get good vision down. We're sweeping down the river, very nice. Yeah, that's gone. There's somebody right there. So I'd just drop a ward and I'd walk away. Well. Well. Wow. Super Q is such a high damage ability. Alright, so you guys are playing a mid, that's fine. Well, she needs to hit. I do that all the time. Try to play Bane away while they're auto-attacking. Their range is just greater than your play range. I didn't see what Simmer used your spell shield on. She didn't use it. It may have been on cooldown previously. Like she was skirmishing with Bard there a little bit, so it could have been could have been down. Alright, we got his flash. Dragon timer, one minute. Okay, so Dragon is where we're going to be playing around. Having good vision around Dragon is important. Uh, their scuttle should wear off. How long do these last? Minute 30? Are they, are they a minute 30? I've never paid attention to how long the scuttle actually lasts. Alright, you got fresh sight stone. We need to come out, we need to get wards here, ward here, somewhere in here, in this area. You want to watch this entrance, and it needs to be close enough to watch through that wall. Oh, there is a Zin over there. So pushing mid-wave and rotating, they're stuck holding the wave. That's when you go ward. Okay, ward. Use the Oracle's Bloom, make sure they don't get it to clear your vision. Wait for his sweeper to expire. Redrop ward. Okay. One more over here. Weak. Yeah, that spot kind of sucks because this just tip of that wall blocks it. Try to get it, like, if you put it here, it'll drop there and you get to see, like, a whole ring there. That's Simmer Q, though. Holy smokes. has ult. Alright, so 1730, next objective is going to be Baron. Uh, it's two and a half minutes out here, so you can just play the towers. The towers you're looking for are this outer and this outer turret. So having vision, like, now that it's down, you want to ward like here, you want to ward here, you want to ward here, and you want to start uh, trying to push top lane. cast it and take this. You guys just go mid and wave clear. They can't really take a tower against Sivir. They shouldn't be able to anyway, unless they can four-man walk up and zone her off hitting him. Also, skill max order. I always max Q. Like, the E max does a lot of damage, but maxing your Q, you still get good damage on the hook itself. You don't have that big, chunky damage on the auto-attack. 
Uh, but you get like four seconds off of your Q. I think it starts at a flat 16, taking one second off for every point you put into it. Yeah, so go for Q max and then W max. You'll get a lot more utility out of the lantern. Bigger shields. Right, you guys are teams dying here, so you guys can just take towers. I don't know what they're doing. There's anti mids. You guys can't really go past where you are now. This is where you back away or either get a kill. But they're gonna match towers taken bottom. Let's see, should be. I would take that red buff. Not yourself, obviously not yourself. You can ping it for your ADC, uh, but don't don't try to take it yourself. I'm sure I would greet it myself and try to fucking do it. I mean, it's there. It's a red buff. It's nice to get away from their ADC or their jungler, right? I probably would try to do it. I don't recommend it though. Don't recommend it. It's not the not the right move. Oh, she missed. Fear is a disgustingly huge champion. What? Be careful standing so close to your ADC against Bard. You guys can be stun targets for each other. Got them both. Careful, careful. Nice, Silver played that really well. Are you watching viewers games for donation? Yes, Salty Bed. These are coaching sessions we do. Uh, we do these for twenty dollars. Um, all of your games that you play on the League Clan are recorded. So if you just go to your match history, there's a button on the far right side of your match history of the game. Uh, you can download your game from there. Holy smokes. Simmer got her, and he almost destroyed Cast in there. What's next, Dragon Mountain? You're here. Kha'Zix is here. Very nice, okay. Put ward out, you want another ward out. Make sure to use the Oracle's Bloom, never leave him with vision. Like, always deny vision. That is literally key of support, denying vision. All right, so getting your team to get here, that's, that's the next thing. How do you get people to follow you? Well, spam pinging usually works, but not always. Wards. You have one ward left. You want to go and you want to set up Baron again. Uh, you can make a play for the blue. Nope, we're all down here. So they're playing down here too. There's not that much of a threat on Baron. Nice play. Nice play. He got the blue even. Holy smokes. Silver does a lot of damage. If they're gonna let you guys push this. Uh, if you have a ward, you want to place a ward over here. And their mid and support are dead, though. They have no way. And Fiora's dead. They have no way to go on you guys. Oh, do you guys end here? What? They just don't do anything.
and GG's. I mean, well played, well played. You played to the obje objective, you made a catch on the next objective, which was the blue. That was good looking for that catch. Um, you guys did the right thing, you can do that. Being down here, just make sure you're not four-man bottom if their team isn't playing bot side. It was only okay that you guys were down here because they weren't playing bot. Uh, if you don't know where they are, you'd never want to show four people bot side because they could just do Baron for free. Other than that, it was well played.